All over this room you came in and healed me you came and refreshed me you came and washed my sin away
Jesus. For you are the anointed one. And your anointing brings the gospel of hope, of freedom, of joy, of forgiveness. Soundness of mind, peace of heart. Thank you, Jesus. Everyone say, He is present. He is here by His Holy Spirit. Jesus, we honor you tonight. We give you all the glory, all the praise. If you stand among us just like you said. Thank you, Lord. Just open your heart to him right now. Just open your heart to him. Jesus said to his church, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him. Open the door and let him in, church. In his glory, in his power in his great love and he will dine with you like you've never dined before hallelujah hallelujah thank you lord that you dine with us with all the angels jesus let your will be done amen 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 give jesus a clap shall we amen praise god please have your seats god is good Praise God. So we're going to go around and just find out. You know, when you're blessed, you're blessed for the glory of God. Amen. All right. So um, let your light so shine before men. Amen. So let it shine. Turn to your neighbor and say, let it shine. Okay, I have a testimony for this meeting. When we were worshiping, I received healing. In this meeting? Yes. Uh, for near six months, since October last year, I've been recovering from a fracture, humerus fracture, on my left arm, and I couldn't go further than this. And suddenly, I was worshipping, and look at me! <laughs> and not only this, look, look, look. Yeah, do it again. Turn this way. Do it again. And Look at back. this. Yeah. Jesus is great. He can heal you tonight. Go around your back. Around your back. Wow. Someone say praise God. Amen. What's your name? Uh, James. James. I remember you, James. Yeah. So what was the problem? Um, I needed deliverance, and um, I saw you in Perth a few years ago as well, and then you are um, now married, and that's my other boy there, okay. and my wife. Yeah. Um, but anyway, when I came to the meeting, I was sitting in the park, and I had this growth on the side of my head, and I'd been feeling like something was eating me up on the inside, and I was meditating on healing scriptures. Um, but now you So you had a, growth had a growth on the side of your head. So tell us the beginning. How did you get this growth? What did the doctor say? How did it affect you? Um, I didn't go to the doctor. Okay. But, um, How long did you have A few years. Yeah. How big was it? Um, I have a photo. It would actually turn black and it would go painful and you can ask my wife and it would bleed. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was full on. So. And what happened in the meeting? Um, you um, called me up and you just said the angel of the Lord is with me and things like this. And I had an encounter and the power of God came on me and I was shaking and trembling and you like, gave me a prophetic word. I see the angel of the Lord standing beside you or, or in front of you and you're preaching almost through him. He's standing in front of you and the angel of the Lord and the glory of God is surrounding you in your preaching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think things like this. So, well. so the, the tumor, the growth left. What, what else, anything else happen? Um... Well, it wasn't just that the growth left. It was like um, an angel came to me in my room and said, oh, it's a melanoma cancer. And that's why I was feeling this torment on the inside. So you went back to your hotel room? Oh, uh, uh, my wife's parents' house where we were staying in Germany. 
So okay, so you went Australia. back to Germany and then you had an angelic visitation. Yes. And how did the angel appear? Um, so for me, it was just a discernment and slight vision, but then I heard the word, oh, it's a melanoma cancer. And then I thought, am I crazy? Am I hearing voices? What's going on? I went into the bathroom and I put this cream on my face and then I do that regularly, but for some reason my face started burning intensely with this fire. And then I just went to bed and just got knocked out. And I woke up the next day and I had a supernatural face tan. There was no sun out, it was in Germany. And, um, and I was like, what's going on? And I was like, honey, this, it's gone. Wow. It's gone. Wow. And it had been getting worse. It was black and everything. Yeah, and it was just gone. Someone say praise the Lord. And ja Jamie, who healed you? Uh, Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs> so someone's got melanoma, they've got cancer. What, what advice in the Lord would you give them? Um, fear not. God is love. And um, yeah, hate all evil. And agree with the fear of God. And just repent and just choose, choose God's kingdom. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thanks, Jamie. Beautiful baby. What's your name? Trudy. Trudy, can we have a catcher around the back, Alex? Around the back, Alex? Yep. So, um, what's it about? Healing, deliverance, blessing? What happened? Um, well, I came up with chronic pain for my arthritis, um, and then you just prayed for me, and that was it. I was healed. Praise God. All right. So, amen. <laughs> so, I, I like to hear the story. So tell us a little bit of the details, what the doctor said if you went there and how it affected your life. Well, it's been quite a long time, um, about 10 years. I had a truck accident um, and then everything sort of went after that. So what happened? You got run over by a truck? No, no, no. I had a truck accident. I was driving the truck. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Cement truck, actually. <laughs> this is quite a woman, eh? <laughs> Cement truck driver. Wow. So, um, yeah, so it just progressively got worse over time. And, uh, yeah, so that came to the meeting last night. So how did it affect you? Where was it? It's all over, or what was, sorry, was all over my body, um, neck, shoulders, elbows, wrists, knees, hips, ankles, everything. It was just in my whole body. So did you have pain? Oh, huge, huge pain. Yeah, very difficult. Did you have to take medication or something? Oh, yes, yes. I weaned myself off that. Mm, that was too much. So what happened last night? Well, the Holy Spirit, Jesus has came in and that was it. Chronic pain. Where, Trudy? Arthritis. Where? Uh, basically over shoulders, neck, knee, elbows, oh, hip, ankles. Do you believe that Jesus will do this? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> Come out. It's coming out of a coccyx and lower back. Come out. In Jesus' name. But when I did get home, I was, well, when I was walking out, I was just praising the Lord and thanking him for my healing and driving home and I got home and then I went into my bathroom and I actually slipped on some water, so that was a bit of a <laughs> I didn't want to move, <laughs> but it was all good, yeah, it's okay. So you had a slip, but it was okay? Yeah, just, yeah, it didn't fall or anything, yeah, praise God, so angels must have been around just <laughs> holding me. Who healed you of arthritis? Jesus did. So someone's watching, they've got crippling arthritis, had it for years, in terrible pain, the medication really is not helping very much. What do you say to them? Well, Jesus is the only way. That's it. Give your heart to the Lord and come before him and, um, yeah, bring everything to him. He'll heal you. He's, he's the only one that can heal you. No doctors, no hospitals, none of that can do that, I'm afraid. So, some things are not curable by doctors. And, you know, but only Jesus heals you know, healing is something that he achieved for us through his shed blood when he died on the cross. <laughs> Amen. Be filled with the Holy Spirit.
Amen. It was on your sheet, was it? Be filled. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor and say, be filled. Turn to your neighbor and say, not just a drop. Get drunk. Amen. What is your name? Kay. Kay, what's it about? What happened? Well, last night I wanted... What's it, healing, deliverance? No, no, it was blessing. A oh, blessing. Fire. Bat- wow, that's yeah, great. No, it was awesome, absolutely awesome. And Did you come wanting it or it just happened to you? Oh, no, I wanted it. So it was on your sheet or something? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you're one of these hungry ones. Yes. If, <laughs> the more I want, the more I want, I want more of Jesus. Wow. So what happened to you? Were you prayed for? Yes, you prayed for me and I went down and I just felt fire all through me, all over me. It was just heat. It was it was amazing. It was just amazing. If you could hold up your signs, it's a big help. <laughs> Look at me. Be baptised in the Holy Spirit. That's the river of God going over you. That's the river of God. That's the river of God going over you. River of God. What does that feel like? Awesome. Hey. What's that? Awesome. What does that feel like? Oh, awesome. I feel hot. Heat. Hallelujah. That's the baptism in fire. He will baptize you in the Holy Spirit and with fire. That's fire all over you. All over you. All over you. Flames all over you. All over you. Okay. Wow, that's that's pretty hot. Is that hot? Yes. How hot is that? Really hot. It's amazing. Thank you, Jesus. Been something like that before? No, no, not like that. It wasn't. You, you know, what's your name? Kay. Kay, you know, someone's looking and they're going, What's the baptism of fire? Maybe it's hell or something, you know. <laughs> you know? No, it's not hell. It's amazing. It's awesome. I think that's what I said last night. It was awesome. I couldn't stop saying it was awesome. It was, yeah, it was the presence of Jesus. Is it biblical? It is. Where do we find it in the New Testament? In Acts. Baptism in the Holy Spirit and with fire. So when the early disciples, the apostles, were baptised in the Holy Spirit, there was a mighty wind and tongues of fire sat upon their heads. They all spoke in tongues. And John the Baptist said, He who is coming after me, I'm not worthy to... Is mightier than I, I'm not worthy to untie his sandals. He will baptise you with the Holy Spirit. But some people have a full stop. Well, for those in the States, a period. A full stop. But it's not a full stop. He said, and with fire. Praise God. Thanks, Alex. Praise God. Have some more. Praise God. Oh, that's fire all over you again. Hallelujah. Have some more. Praise God. Praise God. What's that like? <laughs> that's that's awesome. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. <laughs> I can feel it <laughs> all over me. <laughs> I feel heat from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> you said get drunk, let's go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, sadly, those who don't believe in the baptism of the Holy Spirit 
they don't believe in the baptism of fire, they rob themselves and others of the most wonderful and precious gifts of God that you can have. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and say, don't wait, just jump in right now. <laughs> you want to share? Come on, come on. What happened? What's it about? I got delivered. You got delivered. What's that song, Sarah? I got delivered. Lyndall Cooley, is it? Yeah. What happened? What's your name? Jane. Jane. And I didn't want to be a spectacle, but I was. That's all right, Jane. You'll be on YouTube. Yeah. No, I've had it. I've had it uh, for years, and I've tried to have it delivered for years. So, how did this evil spirit affect your life? Um, when I well, last night, I wanted to run out of the meeting and hit everybody, but I didn't. You try. You know, you, you were trying to punch me. I felt like it. <laughs> glory of God on Benjamin. That's the glory of God on Benjamin. Get out! 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 You're not welcome. Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Go! Go away, go away. It's going, it's going, it's going. It's gone. It's gone. Last night I didn't have much control, but um, I, I don't feel like running out of the meeting. To How come you didn't punch me up? I don't know. In the video, I was watching you in the video. And you're like this. <laughs> you just couldn't connect. I don't know, but um, I... Why would you want to do that to me? <laughs> it's not me. It's the demon. So how did this thing affect you? It, 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 it used to give me um, a lot of pressure and headaches every time I wanted to praise God. I still have a little bit of pressure, but I was able to worship God more tonight than I've ever been able to. And I don't feel like running out, and I feel like hugging you more than. Oh. <laughs> well, she got the anointing with the hug, wasn't it? Watch out, you're going to fall in his lap. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, James. Uh, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> what? What? So. So, you know, what would you say to those churches that don't believe in deliverance and they expect everyone to just live tormented lives, those who are oppressed and need deliverance? What, what would you say to them? It's rubbish. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's very descriptive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who else wants to share? What's your name? Helen. Helen, what's it about? Um, this story started last year when I came to your meeting and was baptised in the Holy Sp in the fire. Oh, last year, was it? What's happening to you? <laughs> hey? I'm fine. You're fine? The fire. <laughs> the fire. You're being baptised in fire, sister. Hey? It's hot. It's hot. So hot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they call me the lightning rod. <laughs> Uh, last night I asked for further impartation and when you, you um, touched me, I, I felt a transference. And I'm so excited because I'm f f uh, we're from Esperance and we want to take the fire back to Esperance. <laughs> if we can't take you, then we need the fire. Well, what's your name? Helen. Helen, just have some more. Jason, are you paying attention? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, you're not much good two metres away. Come over here. <laughs> Amen. Someone say praise the Lord. And... Can I talk to you? You've been located by the Holy Spirit because God loves you. Come over here. So what's your name? Dylan. Dylan. What do you need Jesus in, to do in your life? Um, I don't know exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, an impartation would be nice. So, Dylan, um, I want to encourage you to, there's a side of you that goes deep in God. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. There's a side of you that hears from God. Is that right or not? Yeah. So I want you to focus on that side. There's another side that's jovial, uh, fun, loving, but God's calling you to go deeper. Because at this point, let's say you have a prophetic side to you. All right? But it needs developing before we call you something else. But go deeper. This is a time of getting into the word and being deep. So, Dylan, that's the rivers of God. Let him down. That's the rivers of God going over you, going over you. Go deep. Go deep. Go deep. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Kate. And I got healed last night. So what was the problem? My foot in the left. Um, I had ripped tendons in my foot and it's been two years since my foot has healed. And after Jesus... Had... So, so, sorry, it's been two years since what happened? Um, since I twisted my foot. Oh, okay, so you twisted your foot, you tore the, li the ligaments or the tendons? The tendons, yeah. And how did that affect your foot? Um, I literally couldn't walk properly. The doctor said that I couldn't run ever again. Um, I had a scan done. Um, physiotherapy wouldn't help. And he said that I would have to have surgery on my foot. And last night, it was absolutely awesome. Sorry. What do I pray for? Um, just whatever Jesus thinks I should have. Whatever Jesus thinks I should have. My foot is completely healed. Look at this, Mark. Look, I'll show you. Sorry, look. I can move my foot. I can run up and down. Give Jesus a clap. Keep going. Run for Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What's your name again? Kate. Kate. Who healed you? Jesus healed me. You know, torn ligaments. You, you, anyone had a torn ligament? You don't, you don't run like that. <laughs> that. That's only a Jesus thing. Okay, so he's touching your heart. Uh, something needs touching on your heart. So it's the power of God on your heart. Okay. Can we have a courtesy cloth? That's that's the power of God on your heart. That's because He heals the brokenhearted. Okay, it's the Lord touching you. There's a a wounding in the heart. That's uh, after tonight. Your heart, soul will feel different. Okay, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I think I do. So it doesn't matter if you don't. The Lord knows what he's doing. <laughs> Praise God. So, Kate, someone's, uh, you know, they're told, need surgery, they can't run, painful walking, limping. What do you say to them? I will say that Jesus is your healer. Jesus is your healer. And if you put faith into him, he will heal you. He loves you and he will heal you. You just have to believe. <laughs> Yep. Amen. Praise God. Anyone else want to share something good happened to you? What's your name? Patty. 
Patty, Patty, uh, what's it about? Healing, deliverance, what? Blessing? I had um, really bad arthritis in my feet. I used to teach um, kids who couldn't afford dance lessons dancing, and I had to give it up two years ago because I couldn't really walk properly. Wow. And last night, I got healing in my foot. I woke up today and I couldn't believe I had no bone pain. The tendons are still a bit tight, but no bone pain. So there goes the arthritis, Patty. Praise the Lord. Is this for you? Yes, in my feet. Power God going through you. Power God going through you. Oh, that's lovely. What does that feel like? Good. <laughs> okay, move. You're okay now. Move, do something. Thank you. Praise God. Tell us how it's going. It's good. Come on, show some expression. <laughs> <laughs> how is it? It's really good. Thank you. Every If I got up, it was excruciating pain initially, and then I'd have to walk off the pain. So off you go, show us what the Lord's done. Someone give Jesus a clap. Yeah. What do you think about that? Praise the Lord. He's great. Amen. Amen. What do you need Jesus to do in your life? Um, a chronic pain. And uh, come. I've got left foot drop, which affects my balance and my walk. Um, and depression. Anyone else want to share? We'll get to you, Christine. Come, come. God bless you, sir. What's your name? Noel. Noel, Noel, yeah, Noel. I'm the second because the Pharisees crucified the first. <laughs> Look, uh, so what's it about? Um, for over 65 years, I've had chronic pain in the back. And the last three months, it's even creeped up into the, uh, between the shoulder blades. And it's been like a stabbing pain in my back. My wife can testify how uh, chronic pain I've been in. So uh, Jesus healed me last night. So what happened? Thank you, Lord. It's the power of God on you. The power of God on you. That's the glory of God coming on you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. So, paragot on your back. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's paragot going right up your back. Just speak to the back. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He just prayed over me last night, and uh, I, the pain went away last night. Got up this morning, no pain. But when I went to church this morning, and during praise and worship, of course, the devil will try and come in into your mind and tell you, ah, you haven't been healed. So he started putting that stabbing pain back in. I complete, straight away rebuked the devil because he said, if, if, if you resist him, he will flee from you, right? And that's exactly what happened. I rebuked him and cast him out and the pain left and I haven't been in pain again since. So bend over, do something. Back. No problem. What's that? No problemo. <laughs> no problemo. God bless you, Noel. So tell us about your brother-in-law. Um, we don't okay. like this speaker who doesn't like us. Yeah. Uh, last night, I decided to stand up for my brother-in-law, Armando, that lives in Argentina. And more or less three weeks ago, he had a cancer removed. Uh, bowel cancer removed and he's um, recovering but not very well and we don't know exactly what's going on then I decided to stand up for him and Mark came and prayed and I really felt that the Holy Spirit was touching me I'm standing for my brother-in-law he's in Argentina and has cancer that's a power God going through your brother 
So we're praying, and he's in Argentina. Is he in hospital? No, he's at home, uh, but we have 11 hours difference, yeah, from Argentina and Australia. Then when we arrived home with George, we decided to call him and say, uh, this is what we did. And uh, and then he said, to, and we are going to pray for you because we want to pass you what I think I received last night. Then, but he said, wait, wait, wait a minute. Tell me exactly the time, when this happened. And I say, three hours ago. Then he said to me, uh, you need to know that I went to bed in, under a lot of pain. I was feeling really bad and I had a pain all over my body. And three hours ago, I woke up and I was feeling perfectly well. Yeah. Then, yes, Jesus did it. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Nora. Praise God. Who else wanted to share? What's it about? Uh, deliverance. I had a um, really powerful deliverance last night. You prayed for me. And um, my experience was really different. I actually, you, when you said the glory of God was on me, um, I knew something was happening. And then I suddenly saw something, I had a glimpse of something coming towards me, like to meet with me. And I saw um, it was like sparks. I can't describe the rest. I've got no words to describe what that was. And then it came on me and I lost my strength. And um, I don't know if you were holding my hand or not, but I remember you putting your foot on my foot and then I fell back on the chair and then I completely lost everything and, and I slid off the chair. So it was like something just slid out of me. It was amazing. And, um, whoa. and I'm still feeling pretty wiped out from it. Well, that's the glory of God on you, sister, Brooke. That's the glory of God on you. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I take you under the authority of Jesus' name. Take you under the authority of Jesus' name. I command you out of her. I said, come out of her. Now! Coming out of your book. Thank you, Jesus. So, when I deliverance in, for me is very often prophetic. Okay, so I see a free, and then the Holy Spirit will be casting it out. She'll be vomiting and stuff, but but she's free. So that's the Holy Spirit at work. So she's free. And the Holy Spirit's working, doing spiritual surgery on her. Okay? So, so how do you feel now? Well, my mind is a lot clearer, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't really describe it because I'm not used to it, I suppose. Um, but I'm clearer. My mindset's different. So last night I came kind of as a beggar. Tonight I'm like, I'm here as your child and this is my portion. Yeah? <laughs> So you felt an evil spirit slide out of you? I felt, I felt something like just slide out of me, yeah. Like it was a complete full body thing sliding out of me. And um, it's something I've been dealing with all my life. So, yes. How did it affect you? Oh, gosh, talk about torment, double-mindedness, um, headaches. It would affect my, um, it affected every area of my life actually and I had come to know it as being normal until I started to meet with God and started getting some deliverance and once I knew that it wasn't normal and what I was dealing with, well I just pursued what I could and um, I came and sat right as close as I could because I said I'm going to be the woman that reaches out to touch the 
hem of Jesus' garment. Some people, you know, they, they don't understand the severity of the torment that demons can produce. So tell us a bit about the torment. Well, throughout my life, um, well, before Christ even, I was went to mental health institutions. I would be sectioned. and What does that mean? That means um, the authorities have the right to have you put there and you have no say about it. And um, they could do that at any time they felt that you were misbehaving or something. Uh, they tried to have me committed permanently, but um, obviously Jesus had other plans, and I'm thankful for it. Um, it makes you be, um, you're a different person, you behave differently, um, you can be aggressive, just so confused, suicidal, um, you don't know what's up or down. And it's really just a horrid way to be. And my family is generationally like that. And um, they don't know the Lord. They're not saved yet. And my poor mother, she's so bound. And she's got no idea, you know. But um, I know Jesus is going to save her and she's going to end up in his kingdom for, for sure. There's no doubt about it. That's his promise to me. But um, for people who deny deliverance, it's, to me, that's actually quite wicked because you're keeping people bound in chains and um, it's actually evil. Jesus came to set the captives free. Amen. Yeah. So thank you. Receive the glory of God. And Brooke, you will deliver unbelievers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no, oh. you know, you know, just uh, thanks, Michael. Just think about it. The medical have been trying to help her all this time. Why not have a giggle? Why not have a laugh and be filled with the glory of God? Amen. Amen. You know, I'm very, very strong about this. No one is going to steal my joy. Amen. I've got this joy, 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 joy. Oh, that's low. Wow, that's low. We'll be down... Well, wow, praise God, praise God, praise God. Well, let's have some fun. Can we go around and talk to a few people? Come on. What's your name? Lorraine. Lorraine, what do you want Jesus to do for you? <laughs> Can we have a catch us somewhere? Oh, that's the power of Jesus Christ on you. Turn to your neighbour and say, go back to your church, take the anointing and make a mess of them. So when that preacher is getting condemning and legalistic, someone break out in laughter. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise God. What do you need from Jesus? Um, healing. I've been asking for healing for a while now. Of what? Healing. Of what? Of my liver, um, gallstones. Get behind him, Joseph. Yeah. <laughs> 
and we and we want to be baptised with the fire as well. So that's the power of God on your abdomen, on your abdomen. Oh, wow. We lost the courtesy cloth lady. <laughs> so that's the healing power of Jesus Christ going through your body. That's the power of God on your husband. That's the power of God on your husband. All the ladies are laughing at your husband's tummy. <laughs> That's the power I got on you, sir. He had, he had heart, um, he nearly had a heart attack, so he, he's been going through a whole heart. That's the power I got on your heart, sir. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Power I got on, on your heart. Your heart's being delivered, sir. We command that spirit off your heart right now. And sh there it goes. You're free. You're free, sir. What's your name? <laughs> That's a strange name. <laughs> What's your name? Rob. What happened, Rob? <sighs> I got zapped. I believe, I believe you're healed, Rob. The Lord has a way of locating people. I praise the Lord. What's happening? You're running away, are you? say glory. glory. Turn to your neighbor and say, what sort of meeting did I come to?
there's quite a uh, party going on over here. The more this lady points at this one, the more drunk she gets. So what does that feel like? <laughs> what about you? <laughs> Praise God. So where were we, Lord? Praise God, praise God, praise God. Ryan has autism and Lewis has Parkinson's. Lewis is your husband. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And where's Lewis? Yeah, outside in the car because my son is too um, aggressive and he doesn't do well with crowds and noise. So they're just outside in the car park. So I'm praying for your husband. Okay. <laughs> Power of God going through your husband. Power of God just knock the Parkinson's out of your husband, I believe. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Did you get, get hit, did you, a little bit? <laughs> Amen. For I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God for salvation. Romans 1.16. Hallelujah. I'm not ashamed of anything that Jesus Christ does in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Bring it on, Lord. Give us more. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. We, I have witnessed Jesus Christ at work, delivering the mentally ill, saving those with cancer, healing the autistic, giving speech to the mute, hearing to the deaf, and sight to the blind. And nothing's going to convince me to be ashamed of him. Nothing. Nothing. Praise God. Amen. Amen. So we're on a mission. We're on a mission. We're ambassadors of Christ. We're on a mission to see the gospel come in power in the church and outside the church. Hallelujah. Title of the message is key, The Key to Fruitfulness. The Key to Fruitfulness. I was taken into a vision before for the meeting and I was looking at the human heart. I was going deep looking at the human heart. It's like going, going and seeing the snares and the, the problems of the heart. Fruitfulness begins with a saved and consecrated heart. <laughs> Fruitfulness begins with Jesus Christ abiding in your heart. That's where fruitfulness begins. God wants us to be fruitful. Fruitful. I'm not talking about acting activity in the church I'm talking about divine supernatural heavenly Christ in me fruitfulness I'm talking about what Jesus Christ can produce in you praise God 
Let's read the word of God. John 15, 1. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away, and every branch that bears fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. Last night, I was talking about how the Father, in his good will and according to his good pleasure, has ordained things that will happen in our lives that we might bear more fruit, that we might come into the destiny that he has for us. And to stop fighting, don't fight the work of the vine dresser. He will prune you, and if you yell and scream, it won't make any difference. <laughs> he will prune the branch so that you will be more fruitful. Amen. So let's go deeper. <clears throat> Colossians 1.9 For this reason we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to us. So Paul and the others are praying, praying, praying. Us, he's, he doesn't cease to pray. And he asks that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Spiritual understanding is not mental religious understanding spiritual understanding is spirit understanding it's what the holy spirit reveals to you giving you divine knowledge of his will <clears throat> that you may walk worthy of the lord fully pleasing him being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Being fruitful in every good work is Christ manifest in your life. Every good work. Amen. You know, don't cover your light, Jesus said. The church, people very often like do good works but don't manifest Christ. And then your good works will look like everyone else's good works. But there's a difference. When you do good works in Christ, you do them in the spiritual realm and they're manifest in the physical realm. If you give a glass of water, a cup of water, in my name, you'll receive his blessing. Because it's fruitful. It's fruitful when you do it in him. Amen. Amen. If you abide in me, Jesus said, if you abide in him, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you will and it shall be done for you. Fruitfulness is Christ-centered. Fruitfulness is what Jesus does. <clears throat> Fruitfulness is not what you do, it's what he does. For without me, you can do nothing. You can't be fruitful apart from Christ. You can't be fruitful without surrendering to him. You can't be fruitful unless you're crucified and dead. You can't be fruitful unless you're resurrected in his life. Amen. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and say, just die. <laughs> that Christ may live. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise God. An unproductive focus is an unproductive life. Let's have a look at that. Hebrews 13, verse 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not be carried about with various and strange doctrines, for it is good that the heart be established by grace, not with foods 
which have not profited those who have been occupied with them. You know, the world is occupied, talks about, focuses on all sorts of stuff. You know, one of the things that almost every culture has in, in common is an obsession with food. Yeah. People even, you know, you're gathered around a meal and we don't take photos of the people, they take photos of the food. <laughs> and they put it on Facebook. Don't be occupied with unproductive things. Don't be occupied with things that don't spiritually benefit. Be intentional. Amen? Amen? So it's not that I have attained, but I'm pressing in. I'm pressing in, you know? So don't be like everyone else. Just talk about the weather. Let's talk about the football. You know, I, I sat down with a pastor and his, his team and uh, thou, he was telling me, the pastor was telling me how his, his church has no fire, okay? And I just love to talk about testimonies and the word, and you know? So he's telling me how there's no fire in the church and he's got his eldership, his leadership there sitting, we're all having a meal. And then the whole evening they talked about football. And I thought, well, I wonder why you got no fire. Focusing on unproductive things. So tonight is a parable. You can go home and tell others how you went to a meeting where people were drunk. <laughs> a Christian meeting. People were just laughing. People with mental problems were healed. People were screaming and vomiting and delivered. And a lady with ripped tendons could walk. Jesus has given you something to talk about. Amen. You know, truly, when the Holy Spirit moves and blows like a wind, you don't need an evangelism course. You just start talking about what he's doing. Amen. So ask your neighbour, what do you talk about? <laughs> Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. Focus yourself on him. How do you focus yourself on him? It's a bit like sitting down with someone who's deaf. When you sit down with someone who suffers partial deafness in a busy room, a noisy room, there's so much noise that they can't hear you. So you have to silence everything so they can hear your voice. Some of you have got too much noise going on. You've got the television going, you've got the internet going, you've got the social media going, you've got the gossip going, you've got everything else going, and you can't hear Jesus speaking to you. If anyone hears my voice. But some of you got so much noise going on, ungodly noise. <clears throat> and some of the noise that you listen to is demonic. What do I mean by that? Well, the Bible talks about the spirit of the world. And the spirit of the world comes through worldly things. That's how it operates. So often, you know, someone comes up and, and asks for prayer and I'm like, well... <clears throat> You've been listening to this, you've been watching this, you've been doing this type of gaming, you've been doing this and that, you know, and you think it's okay, but this is why you've got your problem. Because you're listening to the world, you're watching that on TV, 
You are satisfying your flesh by being entertained by darkness. And an evil spirit, a snake, comes and gets you. And suddenly you've got pain. Suddenly you've got strange thoughts going on. You've got nightmares at night. And you wonder, where did I get my problem from? Focus. Focus on Jesus. Turn it all off. And be silent. And it might help some of you even to turn off, I'm sorry to say this, turn off your worship music and just be still yeah. and listen to him yeah. and meditate. Maybe you'll hear the angels singing. Yeah. I'm not against worship music. I enjoy it. M many times I have worship music going all night. It's a blessing. But, you know, sometimes the deepest levels of meditation in Christ, you have to be still. And the prophets went off into the wilderness, into the desert, you know, 40 days. Or John the Baptist was there for years. Paul was there 14 years, you know, just listening to God. Amen. Yes. That's how to get fruitful. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. How to get fruitful. Mm -hmm. Be still and know that I'm God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Turn to your neighbor and say, be still. And no, he is God. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. Turn to your neighbor and say, why don't you just give up then? Why don't you just give up and start trusting God? Believe in him. You know, praise God. So uh, meditate in the Lord, prayer, meditate, the Lord abiding in you. Secondly, meditate in the word of God will make you fruitful. You know, Joshua 1, is it 7? Um, if you will, you know, meditate on this book of the law, day and night, it will give you good success. The word of God will make you fruitful like nothing else. But you have a choice to make, and it's a daily choice, that you believe that by honouring the Lord Jesus Christ and honouring the word of God, your life will be fruitful. And so when there's an encroachment of all such sorts of stuff you know, wanting your time, you're like, no, I'm going to honour the word of God, honour Jesus Christ, and he'll look after everything else. That is an act of faith. If you honour him, he will honour you. Amen? Amen? So, he abiding in, you abiding in him, his word abiding in you. A deep meditation of the word. I'm not talking just about knowing, you know, about Noah's Ark and the animals. or I'm talking about a revelation of the word of God so that it lives in you. Jesus said, my words are spirit and life. The resurrection life of Christ is found in the word of God. To open the Bible is a visit with Jesus. To open the Bible is to visit Jesus. He is the word of God. Amen. Amen. When he comes again on the side, on his side will be written the words, the word of God. Amen. He will come with a sharp sword, the word of God. Amen. And he'll come with flames of fire. His eyes will see everything. Praise God. Third thing. Stay in the anointing. Stay in his presence. Because the anointing breaks the yoke. The anointing is the river flowing in the wilderness. You know, you can be in a famine, but in the anointing, God will supply your every need. Everything else can be going around wrong around you. But the anointing will prosper you. Stay in the anointing. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me 
because he has anointed me, Jesus said, to preach good news, the gospel, to preach good news to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to set at liberty those in captive, in captivity, to declare the acceptable year of the Lord. Blessing comes. Tremendous <coughs> blessing, unfathomable blessing is in the anointing. And the anointing is upon the garments of Jesus. The anointing is not something that you just step into at a meeting, then you step out of. The anointing is to abide. You have this anointing that abides in your heart. And you are, the anointing will teach you all things so that you have no need that anyone teach you, anyone instruct you. The Holy Spirit, stay in him. Amen. Amen. Surrender. You with me? Yeah. Yeah. We, you know, by God's grace, we have seen um, amazing financial uh, miracles in people's lives. Homeless receiving houses, um, uh, depression, you know, misery, poverty, you know, people delivered, people's lives absolutely transformed in the anointing. You know, never move away from the anointing and never make fun of what God does. Always honour the Holy Spirit and he will honour you, you know. Amen. Amen. Turn to your neighbour and say, stay in the anointing. And to stay in the anointing, don't be a people pleaser. Don't be a people pleaser. I was talking to someone the other day in our team and they, they were just telling me how they're an associate pastor in the church. They prayed for a man with Parkinson's disease and he was <clears throat> completely healed in the church. And the man got up and shared and the senior pastor uh, told her off, said, we, we won't have testimonies in the church. We don't want you praying for people. And she's like, and I, I said to her, look, this is normal. Go and start your own church. <laughs> so she's starting her own church with her husband. They just, you know, you know, where did Jesus get the most persecution? You know, in the temple, the religious people, in the synagogues. You know, if 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 you walk in the anointing, the church will persecute you. It's just how it is. Religious people, you know, because they don't understand. You know. And they've got all these ideas that someone's stupidity that someone's taught them. And uh, just don't be a people pleaser, you know. When you walk in the anointing, it'll cost you. It might be family members, it might be friends at work, you know. But the anointing will bring divine blessing and suffering, both. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Fruitfulness. Are you doing what you do because others ask you, which is in a sense okay, but are you doing it because God asks you? Are you just trying to please other people? Are you doing stuff in the church because, you know, there's a need and you want to help out and that's okay, but in a sense, but uh, is your life yielded to the will of God and what he wants you to do? You've only got one life, so why wasting it, waste it doing things that he doesn't want you to do? Why not focus on what he has for you to do? Amen? Praise God. Focus. Fruitfulness comes with vision and vision comes by revelation of the Holy Spirit <coughs> have a Holy Spirit vision of your life so Jesus only did what he saw the Father doing what he saw the Father doing he had vision and vision led to incredible fruitfulness 
do you have vision? What is your heavenly father doing? What do you see him doing? And are you doing it? You with me? Do you have vision? And the best way to have vision is to open your Bible. There is no vision without light. And the word of God is a light to our feet. Amen? Amen. Open your Bible and there'll be light. Amen? Praise God. So excited. So excited. I think we're going to come back here in six months' time. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Praise God. Vision doesn't always make sense to other people if it comes from heaven. You know, they said to Jesus, the, the multitude said to him, stay here, stay here with us. And Jesus said, for this purpose I was sent. For this purpose I have to go to the other villages preaching, you know. Don't be a people pleaser. Be out there. Live life to the full with God. Be courageous, you know. Praise God. I was um, at the uh, retirement village in Sydney with my mother. She's 89, I think. And um, I think sometimes she's like, don't, don't, I'm not quite sure about you, Mark. Um, anyway, um, but yeah, we have a great time. She's been praying for me for a long time. And um, anyway, one day yeah, we drive up and a young man who works there at the retirement village says, is that you, Mark? I've been watching you on YouTube. <laughs> and she, my mum says to me, Mark, he knows you. <laughs> and he's, she says, oh, wow, people know about you, Mark. I, I think I'm going to start telling people, you know. <laughs> vision, vision. We're going to Salt Lake City in Utah, yeah. wow. the place of the Mormons and the big Mormon tabernacle. We've only got, as far as I know, one person, her name's Olga, whom I have only, I've met once. That's the only person there. And we're renting a big venue and we're going. We're going. Amen. Amen. And uh, someone was asking me the other day about team. I said, well, I don't know. <laughs> God will send a team. Yeah. Anyone want, want to go to Salt Lake City? <laughs> <laughs> vision, you know. When you have a vision, then everything will come together, you know. Without a vision... A people perish. You need a vision. A vision. You know? Something to live for. And Jesus Christ is that vision. Make him the center of your life. The center of your sight. Read in the word of God. Read the word of God. Encounter him there. One of the great... You see people being filled with the Holy Spirit. One of the greatest ways of being filled with the Holy Spirit every day is to open your Bible. My words are spirit, to get spiritual understanding. Amen? Amen? Praise God. It's God's will that you should be fruitful and that you don't just live life. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Awesome. Praise God. All right, so we'll just start in the front row. Just put... Casey, that's the power of God coming on your fingers, Casey. In Jesus' name, if you tap on the head. That's power got on you, goiter. Power got on you, goiter. In oh, it's power got going through you. Power got going through you, goiter. Thank you, Jesus. That's power got going through you. Thank you, Jesus. DT, that's power got going through you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father.
Thank you, Lord, for your power. Can move your hips and your legs. Go ahead, DT. <coughs> It's much better. Much better. Eh? It's much better. Okay, go for a walk. Go for a walk. Move. Go and have a good walk. That's right. Just move normally. You're okay now. Yes. Go over there. Someone say praise the Lord. Oh, what's happening? It feels so much better. Thank you. Who healed you? Jesus. Amen. Praise God. This row, you want to stand? So this is you, yeah. Paul, is it? Yeah. Okay. That's, which shoulder? This the shoulder, yeah. yeah. That's the power of God going through your shoulder. Okay, move it. Better. Hey? It's better. Yeah. <laughs> Someone say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Who healed you? Jesus. What do you think about that? It's pretty good. You look surprised. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's, good. He's good. How long do you have that problem for? Oh, about six months. Yeah. So how did it affect you? What happened? Oh, I couldn't play cricket for the season. <laughs> couldn't ride on the whiteboard very well. Uh, couldn't you sleep on it very well. Oh, yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Praise God. I'm going to pray for your daughter, okay? Yeah. You, you guys know each other? We're, We're married. married. Okay, She's I'm going to pray for your daughter. Too. Okay, <laughs> just give me a hand. I'm just going to pray for you. Just relax. I'm going to pray for your daughter, okay? Jesus. So I can't help you, so just close your eyes. Jesus. That's the power of God going through your daughter. It's the power of God going through your daughter. In Jesus' name. She's free. What do you feel happening right now? Come, come. What's your name, Michaela? Michaela. Yeah. Yeah, you feel that? Yeah. What have you done to her? She's mine. She was mine. What have you done to her? Her eyes. What have you done to her? She was mine. How do you use her eyes? They just look through them. Just fix me. Yeah. Fire God through your eyes. Thank you, Jesus. Fire God going through your eyes. Fire, oh, blasting through your eyes. You feel that? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Fire God going through your eyes in Jesus' name. Yeah, something just got healed. Wow. Something just got healed. Wow. You feel something leave. Yeah. <laughs> this one is probably worth explaining something. That with deliverance, you stay within the authority of the parameters that God gives you. Okay, so if you watch my videos, I never talk to demons, all right, because that's what the Lord said. But last week, the Lord said, for the edification of the body of Christ, you can talk to them. So that's why I'm starting to talk to them. How do you feel? Better, yeah. Praise God. Look, have some more. Come, come, have some more. <laughs> So it's like waves of glory going through her. Waves of glory going through her. And as she's being touched, this one's being touched. See, see that? Waves of glory. There's a, like a glory cloud right around you. <laughs> you feel that? I need the glory. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, Lynn. Praise God. Arthritis be gone. Yes. Now. Yes. And there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. 
Yep. Go on. <laughs> yep. Go on. Yeah. Okay, get up and walk, Lynn. You're okay now. Let's get rid of that. Nice Off you go. <laughs> go on. Take a walk. Someone say praise the Lord. Praise there she goes. <laughs> praise. How's that, Lynn? That's good. You can feel it coming off. Yeah. Yeah. Praise no. God. Can I have a catcher? There we go. Look at me, Lynn. There it goes. You're free. Praise the Lord. Hello. Hello. Yeah, we're back again. Yeah. Arinic. Yeah. Deliverance from C19. Oh, I see. Yeah, you can't say the word. So thank you. Yeah, they don't like it on YouTube. Yeah, praise God. Praise God. So you've got after effects. Yeah, and I feel something walking from my left arm to my throat, behind my neck, and also in my spinal cord. Especially when I'm about to pray or at night. Is it coming out of your spine? Coming out of your spine? Did you have a sore spine or anything? No. You could just feel something there? Yeah, feel something like walking. Yeah, sometimes when I'm lined up. There's okay, you're free. You're Thank free. You. Praise God. Praise God. Bitterness as well. And I have pain here after giving birth. So my body aches. <laughs> So, Mariella, that's the Holy Spirit putting a fire in you. You feel that yet? Hey? Yes. <laughs> He's giving you a new heart. He's taking out the heart of stone that was lazy and giving you a heart of flesh. Can I talk to you? Yeah. What's the problem? Mm. Chronic headaches for four years. Be free, Reese. Be free. What do you want prayer for? Um, just everything going on in my life. You need deliverance. Power of God going down your back. It's the love of God on you, Monica. It's the love of God going through you. It's the love of God. in for that girl. Power God going into her. Power God going into her. Caroline. That's fire of God coming on you. Fire of God coming on you, Caroline. Be gone. In Jesus' name. Benjamin, we're just going to pray for you, okay? That's the glory of God on Benjamin. Glory of God on Benjamin. That's the glory of God on Benjamin. That's the glory of God on Benjamin. Hmm? She's Nana. She's Nana. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. What does that feel like, Jacob? Different. <laughs> he is different, Just isn't he? Like, uh, I want to lose my balance. <laughs> you know, the microphone's anointed. Amen. <laughs> Be healed, Jacob, in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Cecilia, Jesus heals the body to save and sanctify the soul. Are you willing to follow him with everything? Yes. Yes. You say yes, but Jesus looks at the heart. He, he, he's not only listening, yeah. but he's watching. Yeah. He's looking at the heart. Will, will you yield to him? Yes. Yes, I will. That's the power I got on you, Cecilia. Do you have a problem with bitterness? Yes. Your bitterness is ruining your life. Yes. Okay, move yourself. You're okay now. How's that? Feels good. <laughs> Feels good. Yes, it does. Jesus heals the body that you, your heart, would yield to him. That's what he wants. Okay, just give the, the boy to... You got to someone... So why are you bitter? I hold grudges. I hold on to the past. So this is a man? No, it's... I can't explain it. It's things that I just can't let go of. Things that get said, things that have been done. You ready? Free. What'd you feel happen? Just something shooting into me. Mama. Power of God set you free. Depression. Yeah. Come. What's your name? Matthew. 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 Where are you from, Matthew? I'm from Perth. Okay. Yeah. Do you know anyone here? Oh, yeah, my twin. My mum was sitting next to me, my friends. You feel the power of God? Yeah, I do. What does that feel like? It's good. Have, have some more. <laughs> It's the love of God going into you. Crystal, broken heart, depression, single mom, anxiety. That's the love of God going into your heart, Crystal. You feel that? The Bible says that he heals the broken hearted. He's healing your heart. And as he's healing your heart, I've got a question. Some of your brokenness is because of ungodliness, okay? You know what I'm talking about? Because of sin. Are you willing to follow Jesus in his way? Yes. He's healing your heart, but to keep it healed, you have to follow his way. Okay? Yeah. You, you see her right now, she just got delivered, something left her. When, when you confess to the Lord that you will live a righteous life, it enables deliverance to happen. Because your propensity to sin keeps the demons. But when you make a decision to follow in righteousness, you're cutting something off from the demonic realm in your life. Okay? Yes. 
Yes. And my did you feel that go? Yes. Yes. You felt that go. What did that feel like? It felt good. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. So your children are blessed with your deliverance. They're blessed. I don't need to pray for them. Okay. So Carmel, you've had hindrance, hindrance, hindrance through your life. Hindrance. It's spiritual. <laughs> if you want prayer, just stand. Run, Rhoda. Do you feel that? What does that feel like? Do you know what's happening around you, Rhoda? Do you know what's happening around you? She doesn't know what's happening around her. Heaven is manifesting around her. There's flowers all around her. Flowers. Heaven has come. And the demonic is manifesting because heaven in the spiritual realm is manifesting. There's flowers all around her and it's tormenting the demonic in her life. She can't stand it. This demon is being tortured by heaven. Heaven, the kingdom of heaven is all around her. Rhoda, that's fire burning through you. Fire all over your body. Fire all over your body, Rhoda. Fire all over your body. Nowhere to hide, demon. Come out. Nowhere to hide. Nowhere to hide. Fire all over you. Fire all over you. There is a river that flows from God above. There is a fountain that never shall run dry. Come to the river, there is a vast supply. All of you, come out. All of you, out of her. In Jesus' name. Everywhere that you're hiding, come out of her. In Jesus' name, out of her abdomen. Everywhere, come out. In Je You're free. You're free. You're free. You're free. Come, Rhoda. Come. 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 God loves you, Rhoda. What did that feel like? <laughs> Another back. What happened? <laughs> you don't know. It was Jesus setting you free. God loves you. Praise God. Someone say, praise the Lord. Praise God. I've seen you before, Steve. Yeah, it was on one of your previous um, times in birth. I was actually one of your catchers. But I Are you a catcher? Now. <laughs> That's the power of God in your spine, all right? Yeah, in your spine, all right? In your spine. Power of God in your spine, all right? In your spine. Wow. Wow. Power of God in your neck. Power of God in your neck. Do you feel that power? Yeah. You feel that? Yeah. That's the glory of God. Yes. Praise God. Yes, amen. Wow. What does that feel like? Feel good. Feels good, does yeah. it? Mm. You just rest there in the power of God. That's the Lord. Your right leg, is it? Or your left? Right leg and my kidneys. Wow. That's a... Ooh. Oh, do you feel that? That's glory. That's glory. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. That strength going into your leg. 
strength going into your leg in Jesus name wow praise God what does that feel like feels good feels good what's happening to your leg no more pain no more pain yeah well come on come on What happened to you? I um, I think I sprained my muscles. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's the power of God going through that leg. You just hold her, Alex. Thank you. Thank. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you, Jesus. They said. Um, What's your name? Narada. Narada. Angels are working on you. Just have a seat and we're just going to let the angels work on you, okay? <laughs> Daisy. Praise God for you. Amen. Is this your family? Praise the Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. That's the power I got on the girl. Praise God. Praise God. Hello, sweetie. <laughs> What's your name? Shekinah. Wow. What? And what is it? Shekinah. Dedicate to God. Eh? Did you write that? Uh, mommy did. Mommy did. What did you want to pray for? Um, I had some things written, but... I well, that's the power I got on you. I've been through a lot of suffering, and... Um, How old are you, Dean? Uh, 15. And you're addicted to vape? Yeah. How did that start? I don't know. I just tried it like last year and then couldn't stop. So Jesus delivers you so that you can follow him. Yeah. So you're prepared to follow him? Yes. How are you going to follow him? Um, Computer gaming? No. no. You don't do that? No. So you're prepared to follow him? Yeah. That's the power of God going through you? The power of God going into your lungs? Into your lungs? Just going to tap you, okay? What's the power of God delivering you? Dean, power, you're free, Dean. What did that feel like? I don't know, like, I can breathe deeper now. Like, you can breathe deeper now? Yeah, like, Deep breath. my breathing was like, it's like my lung capacity just went back up. Your lung capacity just went back up. You're free. But follow Jesus, Dean. Take it seriously. What do you feel, sweetie? Mm, don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's for her and the mother. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> That's the baptism of fire, Cheryl. That's the Holy Spirit moving in you. What does that feel like? He's moving like a wind inside you. 
like a wind inside you. <laughs> so, sister in the wheelchair, what's your name? What's narrative? That's the power of God moving in your right leg. Do you feel that yet? You feel that? Yeah. That's the power of God moving in your right leg. I said, just stay there. That's the power of God moving, moving in the muscles. Okay. What do you feel? Fire. Hey? You feel fire. Sorry, you feel fire. Sorry. Are you ready? <laughs> Just leave it. That's the Holy Spirit coming down on you. So who has autism? My son, Gabriel. How old is Gabriel? He's five. So what are the symptoms? Uh, Nonverbal. He doesn't talk. He's uh, got a very uh, repetitive behavior. He cuts a lot of plants around the house. Do you believe Jesus will do this? Yes. Yes, he will. He will. When? Today. He's already done it. Amen. Amen. What's your name? Betty or Beatrice. Betty. Yes. Betty, God loves you and honors your faith. So there's a spiritual battle right now with your son. There's a spiritual battle and Jesus has overcome. Jesus has overcome. Just close your eyes. We're praying for your son. That's the power of God coming on your son. It's the power of God coming on your son. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. the power got on your son awake wake up awake awake I command your brain come awake I see your son becoming alert I see your son becoming alert Saying, Mummy, hear, hearing your voice, I see your son coming alert in Jesus' name. According to your faith, Betty, be it done to you. And all God's people said? happening <laughs> Lacey that's the power of God on you it's the power of God on you and you're the brother are you that's the power of God on you What's wrong? It's in my third and on my tongue. It won't come out. She says there's something on her tongue and she can't. She, there's something on her tongue and she can't get it off. Tonight. Yeah, now. Oh, okay, right. Come stand up, Lacey. Come stand up, Lacey. Yeah, God loves you, Lacey. <laughs> Coming out, it's coming out, it's coming out of your spine, it's coming out. The mighty name of Jesus Christ, it's coming out. It's coming out. Yep, just spit it out, spit it out. It's coming out. Spit it all out. Spit it out. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. power of God on you. I believe you're free. Praise God. We'll wipe the floor later. <laughs> Praise God. Praise. That's the power of God on your back, on your spine. That's your 
scoliosis under the power of God, under the power of God, under the power of God. We command the spine straighten in Jesus' name. Spine. I'm talking to you. Straighten now. Now. Where it goes? There it goes. That's your spine straightening. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. The doctor will tell you you got scoliosis. He can't see the demons, though. You understand what I'm saying? Wow. Praise. You feel the power got on your back? You feel that? Yeah. <laughs> That's the mighty power of Jesus Christ on your back. Wow. Wow. Praise God. Okay, Lacey, just come here for a moment. Come over, over here, Alex. Just come around here. That's right. Move that leg. Did she have trouble walking or is it just the power of God? Power of God. It's the power of God. All right, just turn to me, Lacey. All right, we're just going to let you lie on the floor so you can have surgery. All right? You're having surgery, but I want you lying on the floor. Okay? So just relax, Lacey. Right, here we go. It's just me, Lacey. So that's your back straightening, okay? Young man, come over here. Come over here. Come on. What's your name? Uh, William. William, what do you feel happening, William? Oh, just joy for my sister. You feel happy for your sister? Yes, yes. Let's take your hat off. Praise God. God's got a good purpose for your life, William. Okay, did you know that? Yeah. He's got a plan for your life. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. And that's him consecrating you, consecrating you, setting you aside, William, for him. Setting you aside, William. Praise God. Lacey, what does it feel having surgery? It's light. Hey. I feel really light. You feel light. That's because you've been delivered. Yeah, come on. That's because you've been delivered. Do you know how these demons came into you, Lacey? No. The main thing is that we know how they got out. <laughs> Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless him, Lord. Amen. The devil's a liar, isn't he? Yes, he is a liar. So, Joy, this is you, is it? Only Jesus can do it. Yes. Only Jesus can do it, Joy. Did you ever have stomach problems? No. Just um, a, a bit of um, heartburn and things. Heartburn? Yeah, and the treatment I'm on is giving me bloating. Giving you what? Like bloating and things in my tummy. Right. Oh, that's the power I got on you. Power I got on you. You know, Perth people are amazing. Look at you all. We've all prayed for you. You just stay there nicely, just watching. <laughs> you are amazing. You're, you're one of a crowd. Praise God. What do you feel happening? Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Did we pray for you? If you want prayer, just stand. Just 
got the club foot. Oh, okay. He just had surgery, did he? Yeah, yeah. he just had surgery. Mm. That's a paragon on his foot. He's beautiful. Kyson, is it? Yeah. He's gorgeous. It's a paragon on his foot. Thank you, Jesus. That's paragon on your left knee. Luan, paragon on your left knee. Praise God. In Jesus' name. Oh, that's lovely, Lord. Thank you. Okay, Luan, off you go. Have a walk. Go on, good walk. Off you go. You're okay now. Someone praise the Lord. How's that? Yeah, much hey? better. Much better? Can I move it? How's that? It, it used to make a clicking sound. Uh-huh. It's, it's sort of fading. Yeah. Amen. The clicking's fading as we're talking. Yeah. Wow. Bend down. How's that? Yeah, much better. Yeah. How long does it take for Jesus to heal you? Just as soon as you lay your hands on my feet, on my knee. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. I had a tor torn cartridge in my knee 15 years ago, and I went to church, and they said it was going to cost $3,000, and there was no way it would heal on its own. So I said to the special, I don't have $3,000, but I have Jesus. Do you, do you know Jesus? So I went, I went to church. Let me tell you, I'm not finished. I came to tonight, and I came back, and while you were praying, it's gone again, and it's totally healed. It tried to come back as I was walking through from the car, and now I'm sitting listening to all it, and it's gone. So you were sitting here listening, and you torn, and torn, torn knee, it was it? It tried to come back. It started, started to pain as I walked a bit from the car to here. And I was saying, no, that's healed. And then as you were praying and listening, it just went cool, and all the pain is gone. Well, show us now. Oh, it's amazing. Huh? Wow. Someone say, praise God. Pain, nothing there. And my request was for my, my niece in Swansea. His son, his brother committed suicide five years ago. So they're really suffering, and I pray. Let's don't talk too Pray much, okay? Yeah. I know you like talking, but... I do, I do, because I want to... I'm so excited for Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. That's the power of God coming on your family. Yeah. Power of God coming on your family. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Pauline, open door to what? Uh, to successful, um, to everything. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 Come out in Jesus' name and be healed and be whole. Amen. That's Lord healing your mind. Lord healing your mind. What do you feel happening? Um, a tingling. You feel a tingling where? Yes, around my face. It's Lord healing your mind. Lord, where's the husband? There's no husband. It's a good prophetic question, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> yes. Because you had one that came and he left. Right. <laughs> so with that prayer, the Lord's uh, providing, forming a foundation in your life, stability, okay? Okay. 
Amen. Left hip fractured tailbone. What's wrong with the left hip? Oh no, it's just from the um, tailbone. I fell Smash over and, and smashed it. <laughs> you smashed the yeah, tailbone. tailbone about three times about ten years ago. That's the Lord healing it. That's the Lord healing it. That's the power I got on your tailbone. That's power. Oh, that's nice. What does that feel like? I can feel tingling. Yeah, it's lovely. Because <laughs> I haven't got my muscle cream on tonight. So was it sore when you sat down? Yeah, yeah I like standing. You like standing because it's <laughs> sore when you sit down. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Stand up. Plonk back down again. Oh, it's all right. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> she had a fractured tailbone, 10 years. <laughs> Saw to sit in the chair. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. What's your name? Christine. Christine, what, what do you think about that? I think that's lovely. Thank you. You Thank think it's you, lovely? Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. He's a good father. Isn't he? Yeah, thank you. Thank Who healed you? Jesus. How long did it take? A few seconds. <laughs> Ten years of pain gone. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Praise God. Everyone come back tomorrow and we'll have testimonies and we'll continue to pray and enjoy ourselves. Amen. Anyone else back here? Lucky last Hello, Adam. Hi there. Whatever God has, I'll take it. You, whatever God has, <laughs> he's got a lot more than you could possibly handle, brother. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. You might have to take your head yep. off. Power of God going through you. It's my husband. I had to take him home from the meeting, so I've just got back. And What's wrong with your husband? He's got um, skin cancers. He's got um, leukemia. That's power God going through your husband. What's wrong with your leg? I've got arthritis all over my body. Yeah. And I've got lots of other stuff. So it's power God going through you. Power God going through you. Tap. Power God going through your body. Thank you, Jesus. Power God going through you. Okay, move yourself. Um, the, the pain went away out of my leg. Pain's gone from your leg? Yeah. It's good. Yeah. So you had pain in your leg, right? Yeah, it, was, it just came on, but yeah. It's gone. And now? No, it's going, it's going away. Yeah. So thank you. Lift your hands to Jesus and thank him. <laughs> thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Bless you. What's wrong? I'm diabetic and recently diagnosed Addison's disease. Who? Addison's disease, which is adrenal gland failure. So my body doesn't produce steroids anymore. You need a miracle, don't you? I do. Yeah. What's your name? Brian. Brian. How old are you, Brian? 32. So your adrenal gland and diabetes, was it? Type 1 diabetes. He's insulin dependent. Sorry. Sorry. He's insulin dependent and he's actually got a pump that gives him insulin constantly. And then recently he had a lot of lows, which he was basically dead they rushed him to hospital and they found out that he had Addison's disease as well which is lifelong but we believe the Lord can heal him from both Amen. that's power God on you oh Jesus sweet Jesus what a wonder you are, you are brighter than the morning star. You are fairer, much fairer 
than the lily that grows by the wayside. You are precious, more precious every day. That's the Lord working on your adrenal gland. That's the Lord working on your adrenal gland. Right here. Right here. You feel that? Yeah, I do. That's the Lord working on your adrenal gland. So I'm hearing adrenal gland failure. Okay? So that's the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Resurrection power. Resurrection power. Command the adrenal gland. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. I believe your adrenal glands are right. Lord, we rebuke the diabetes. Rebuke the diabetes, Lord. In Jesus' name. What do you feel happening, Brian? I feel different. I feel like we're released. Amen. We believe you're healed. What's your name? Brian Wojcik. Brian. Yeah. I've got a message for you, Brian. God loves you. He loves you so much. You're special to him. And even though the enemies try to separate you from God's love, he loves you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I give you a hug? Yeah. yeah. So we're going to believe for you to be set free of this, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What do you feel happening, Brian? What do you feel happening? Um, just it's like going everywhere. It feels tingling. You feel a tingling everywhere. Yeah. It's the power of Jesus Christ. God loves you. Put your faith in Jesus Christ. Okay? So that's the Lord healing your eating. Okay? That's the Lord healing your eating. You know how you don't like to eat. So that's the Lord healing that, Brian. In Jesus' name, power God on your esophagus, on your stomach. In Jesus' name, be healed, be whole. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, let him put on weight. In Jesus' name. Lord, let him know the love of God. Amen. Amen. God loves you, Brian. Amen. God bless you. It feel good? Yeah. What did you say? Yeah, it feels good. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Go home and enjoy potatoes, veggies and steak. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Amen. God bless you. This is my mom from India and she cannot swallow food. Why can't she swallow? Gorda? Uh, she has thyroid. That's a gorda. That's power God on your mum's goiter. It's coming out. It's coming out. Your mum's goiter's coming out. Yeah, there it goes. There it goes. It's gone. It's gone. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. One of our team, Alice, um, years ago she came and her mother in Uganda was being strangled by a goiter. And we prayed in the meeting, and when we prayed in Uganda, 
she came out, spiritually came out and she was healed and she's now 88 or something. Praise God, praise God, praise God. What does that feel like? God's power touched me. Hey? God's power touched me. God's power touched you. Give your mum a call. We believe she's healed. Amen. Healing from gastro. That's the power of God going through you. Tristan, that's the power of God. Ooh. I believe you're healed, Tristan. I was for heaven. Healing, but I'll get wisdom for a while. Fire and impartation first. Roger, where's the cancer? Uh, my uh, gallbladder and my lung in my pelvis. <laughs> That's the power I got on you. Roger, that's the power I got on you. In Jesus' name. Power I got going through the cancer, on the cancer, on the cancer, on the cancer. The power I got going on the cancer, Roger. Cancer. Take you under the authority of Jesus' name. Everywhere you're located, cancer. Everyone pray, everyone pray, everyone pray. Be loosed. There you go. Amen. Stephen, I'm going to pray against financial hindrance. got on your L4, L5, lower back. That's power got on it. It's like a fire. It's the healing power of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit ministering to the back. Heavenly hand touching your back. Wow, that's amazing, Joanne. What do you feel happening? I just put some flowing through, just flowing from the top down. Okay, put your hand on your chest. All right, bend over, bend over, bend, bend, keep going. Someone say praise the Lord. That's it. Praise the Lord indeed. That's it. Awesome, awesome. The pain's gone from my lower back. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. They're like new discs, L4 and L5. It's like new. Praise God. Praise God. That's the power got on you, Elvis, healing you. You're an ambassador. You're a teenager, are you? Yeah. How old are you? Fifteen. You're an ambassador in your school. Diane. Hey, where, where's my helper? The lady who was in psych wards and stuff. Brooke. Come on, Brooke, hurry up. 
God has not given you a spirit of fear. Okay, put your hands like this. Can we have a... Yeah. Just stand over here, yeah. That's power God going into your hands. And lay hands on this proxy, praying for Diane, for deliverance from mental illness, okay? All broken. It's power God coming on your son. What's his name? John. Joe. John. John. It's power God coming on your son. In Jesus' mighty name. You know, the person does not have to be in the room to be delivered. You know, Noel, uh, Nora's brother-in-law, exact time when we prayed here, he's in Argentina, wakes up, feeling really good. That's the Lord delivering your son from depression, okay? And extreme anxiety. Okay. So Kiara Lee, right? So you got baptized, huh? And then you got a pain in the back, right? It was a spiritual attack. We'll pray for your friend too, all right? So that's the power I got on your back. Just going to touch your back right about here. Is that right or not? Where is it? Um, down, down here. Okay. That's the power I got on your back. Okay? Okay. What's your friend's problem? Scott. He has three um, shattered vertebrates also in his lower back. Kim, that's the power I got on your knee and ankles. We welcome you. Kim, what does that feel like? <laughs> really good. It's really warm here. It's what? It's really like thick and warm here. And there's just this sweet flowing of the Holy Spirit through me. And my knee's healed. <laughs> Your knee's healed now. Yeah. yeah. It's gone. Someone say, Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Who healed you? Pardon? Who healed you? Jesus. So praying for Brendan. Is she only child or what? I've got five. Five. But she feels alone. She feels alone. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Because I'm looking at her as if she was an only child. She feels alone. Come. Come. I've got an autistic son at home. That gives her a hard time as well. That's the power got on you, okay? Loneliness and rejection. Two. Loneliness and rejection. That's the power got going through you. It's the power got going through you.
you are well. Martha, sciatic nerve pain, which leg? From my bed down to my calf muscles and down to my feet. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name. Okay, you're okay now. Come on. How's that feel? Good. Feels good now. You got a big smile. Move that leg. How's that? Feels better. Um, I usually feel a lot of pain when I bend down from my back down. I feel better. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Have some more, okay? In Jesus' name. How do you pronounce your name? Oh, Evney. Evney. You, you look at his paper, and here is a young man who's humble, and God notices the humble. God notices the humble. Some people would never write this on their sheet. So let's all pray. That's the power God going through you. It's coming out of you. It's coming out of you. It's coming out of you. It's gone. What did you feel happen? Oh, I just felt shaky. And it fell over. The Lord's chosen this row. Praise God. Let's go. Everyone say, let's go. I can't hear you. And this row. Let's go. Do you like singing? I do. <laughs> Do you want me to sing? Thank you. Hey, Sarah. Give us a key for Amazing Grace.
praise God. So that's the anointing going through you to sing. That's the anointing going through you to sing. You are receiving a gift from heaven to sing. And I, I see an angel in heaven who will teach you how to sing. Cell of your body, I command you be free in Jesus' name. Amen. Did I pray for you? <laughs> First time I met you. I was sitting next to a man that had just proposed to me and you said you're going to marry the man next to you, there's no way you could have known. You delivered him from heroin but he went back and died um, New Year's Eve just gone and then I found that through a friend that invited, sent the invitation for you to be here and I know it's not a coincidence the time. I see Jesus coming to you Nova, you want to be closer to him. That's Jesus coming to you. It's upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of earth <laughs> will grow straight. cancer. <laughs> Bad news. We've come with good news. There's healing in Jesus' name. By his stripes we are healed. Let's believe. Thank you. Shall Thank you. Believe? I believe. Thank you, Jesus. You see the other cameraman over there? Yeah. The guy with the bald head holding the camera? Yeah. He was healed last year of prostate cancer. <laughs> At 27 PSA, after prayer, it was one point something. What's Amazing. yours? At the... It's very low at the minute. Let's pray, huh? You can let go of him. He's in the hands of Jesus. Just let go of him. Let's close our eyes. You close your eyes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to you. Prostate cancer.
Wow. Anthony, did you feel that? Yeah. It was like a lightning bolt. Yeah. Yep. Zapped it. <laughs> I could feel it. What does that feel like? Good. What does it feel like? Good. Thanks, God. Thank you. Arthritis everywhere. Knees very bad. Shoulder, neck, spine, back. Gina, God loves you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's believe that you are like you were when you were a little girl. Dancing, skipping along. Amen. Amen. Power, oh, in Jesus' name, that's the power of God. Come out, all the arthritis, come out, come out, come out, come out, in Jesus' name. Well, move. How's that? Come on. Come on. You're okay. Walk. Sorry? The heat's coming through my body. Okay. Just from my back, my shoulders. not how you go down, it's how you come up. That's the power I got on you. You've been located by the Holy Spirit. God loves you. What do you got, depression? Depression? Fear and anxiety. So you get these um, unnatural fear attacks. Okay, like something's in your head. Yeah. You're going to be free tonight. Okay. God loves you. Perfect love casts out all fear. Fire of God going through your head. Fire of God delivering you. Fire of God delivering you. You'll never be the same again. Fire God delivering you. What does that feel like? Hey Amen. I believe you're free. Okay? So, you're a prayer warrior. Yes. And you're also prophetic. Yes. And I do outreach ministry at the park and at the beach. Because I see you giving out food or something. I like to help as well. Yeah. Okay, Jesus. Jesus. So with that prophecy, your life has been strengthened. Amen. Okay. Amen. Amen. So you want to pray for your outreach ministry yes. breakthrough. You've received it. With that prophecy, you've received it. Amen. Your life has been strengthened. Amen. Hi, guys. Good day. Praise God. What do you want to pray for? Uh, breakthrough. Yeah. A touch from God. Either of you in business? Yeah. As I'm seeing, hearing business. Yeah. Who's this? It's my wife. Oh, okay. So, your business shall arise. It's like going up, 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 up. Arise. In Jesus' name.
So what are you going to do with all this financial blessing? Give most of it away. <laughs> Advance the kingdom. So I'm seeing your business pylons going deep, like building a building. Mm. So you will invest in your business to that it might grow more. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. All right? Awesome. Thank you very much. So, so that's wisdom, I believe, from heaven. Yeah. God wants to bless your business. Invest so it can grow. Mm. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You do the books? She does. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> While he's out at work, you're doing the books, right? I do. Yeah. But she's not always doing what you think she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> she's enjoying herself. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, um, Gemma, so you're a more serious type, but your wife is more happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite funny. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> so don't cage the bird. Yeah. Okay. So she flies around. <laughs> don't put her in a cage. Okay. <laughs> And also, there's an idea she has of going on a holiday. There's a what, sorry? Holiday. You want to go on a holiday, don't you? Yeah. Bali or somewhere. Where is it? Oh, I have dreams of quite a few different countries. I don't know where we'd even start. So just go with her. Yeah. Do that. <laughs> Copy that. <laughs> okay. So there you go. What do you want from the Lord? There's a lot. I don't know how to put it down into words. Okay, so you need to change your thinking. Yeah. Okay. Because your thinking is, I have a permanent problem. These things will never go away. It's the enemy that put the thoughts there. So medicate your mind. So that the spirit of the word will go through your life and your body, okay? In Jesus' name, I rebuke your thoughts. Come out. Praying for a financial breakthrough. It's my husband. Yes. Suffering from migraine and psoriasis. <laughs> Tell your husband, I said, it's very important that he give thanks to God. Because sometimes I can hear him swearing at his problems. Okay? And it's like cursing himself. So instead of him swearing and saying, this happened again, this happened, and this happened, all right, he needs to turn and lift his hands and thank God. Okay? Does that make sense? Yep. Yes. Ever hear him swear? Do you? She's, you've got a That's the power of God going through him. That's the power of Jesus Christ going through him right now, going through his brain, his body, in Jesus' name.
do you want prayer for? Breakthrough. What? Family, personal issues. How's your marriage? Good. Good. So what's happening with the family? False accusations. By family members? Yes. And they took it to court, did they? Yes. So I see a piece of paper in the hand of the judge. Okay? So pray. 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 So we're going to pray for the judge. All right? Justice belongs to the Lord. Okay? So we're going to pray. It's the power of God coming on the judge. Just close your eyes. Power of God coming on the judge. I hear the judge saying, what's this all about? He screwed up the paper and threw it out. James, just, you got a baby, so just stay standing. All right? Power of God going through you. Jax, power of God going through you. Okay, God has given you a gift of compassion, special gift of compassion for people. So carry one, another bur one, one another's burdens. So you are a carrier, all right? But it's a work of grace, all right? <laughs> Ever do drugs? Have I? Yeah. You repent? Do you repent? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Did you ever used to get abdominal pain, sharp abdominal pain? Yep, yes I did. Do you know why? No, no, I never knew why. Come, I'll tell you. When you took drugs, a serpent spirit went into you and attacked your stomach and you, you've been delivered. Okay? Hello, Linda, we've met before. We have. Yeah. <laughs> we have indeed. Yeah, praise God. Okay. Be healed. <laughs> so the left hand side of your heart Part of it's dead, okay? Is that right? Yes, it is. So that's the power of God bringing it to life. Do you believe that Jesus will do this? Yes. It's a mighty power of Jesus Christ on your heart. You're having heart surgery, Craig? You're having heart surgery. Angelic heart surgery. You'll feel almost like something is being injected into your heart. You're under divine surgery. That's your heart coming back alive. In Jesus' name we believe. That's the glory of God, Craig. What do you feel? It's awesome. Surgery's over. You're fine. So um, you've suffered a lot with your son. So we're going to pray for you first, okay? 
All right. Jesus Christ heals the brokenhearted. All right. So your son has a temper problem. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Put your hand on your chest. Be healed. In Jesus' name, I release you from his temper and all his accusations and everything he said. I loose you. If you are loosed, you are free indeed. You're free. What did that feel like? I can I can breathe. Hey. She said I can breathe. Let me say something. Demonized people can afflict people through their anger. Demonized people can... She, she has a son with ADHD and other problems, with a temper problem. She herself has become afflicted and Jesus Christ is healing her soul from the damage. Okay? Don't let anyone steal your joy. Be healed in Jesus' name. Susan. Anna, are you there? Okay, Anna's going to lay hands on you, okay? That's the power of God going through Anna's hands. Come out. In Jesus' name. Come out. Healing for autoimmune diseases. More than one. Well, suffer from more than one autoimmune diseases. So what, what demon is, is attacking you? Demon? Yeah. Well, what? Didn't the doctors tell you about that? No. Didn't they tell you? <laughs> no. Get out. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on, get out. And Jesus went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil. All sickness finds its root in the devil. Depression, get out. Whatever you call yourself, get out. That's the power of God going through you. That's the power of God going through you, releasing you. Is there someone... Lord, we just pray again for that. Autism, is it, over there? Autism, is it? Father, that's the glory of God on him. That's the glory of God on him. Father, we believe for total healing. In Jesus' name. We ready? You look very serious. I am. <laughs> You're a bit scary. <laughs> God loves you. Yep. Amen. So it's Craig, is it? Yes, it is. So Craig, let me talk to you. So life's been a struggle. It hasn't been easy for you. You got your own business? No. 
What do you do? I'm a uh, fitter by trade. So life hasn't been easy, and you've had to, you know, pull yourself up by your own boot, bootlaces type of thing again and again. Yeah. Hasn't been easy. Yeah. But His grace is going to carry you now. Okay. Thank you. Like a river. Just lie back, float. He's going to carry you. All right. Thank you. It's a, a new season. So just relax, smile, just enjoy the ride. His river is going to carry you. Okay? Praise God. Thank you, Mark. God loves you, Darren. That's the power of God coming on you, Darren. So how does this affect you, Darren? Um, just not, not a clear head. Sorry? Not a clear head. I have I lots of thoughts. Thoughts. And why is it paranoid? Um, just sort of anxiety and depression and I think people are talking about me. You know, Darren, you could not comprehend the extent of God's love for you. You could never comprehend its breadth, its width, its height, its depth. Jesus loves you. Let's just reach out our hands to Darren. God loves him. He needs a miracle. Ben, that's the power of God going through your hand. Just stand there. That's the power of God going through your hand. That's the power of God, Ben. That's the power of God going through your hand. It's hot. That's like a, a power going through your hand. Some electricity. Father, we ask for a miracle for Darren that you heal his mind, Lord. Heal his mind, Lord. In Jesus' name. What's happening to you? I guess you got delivered of that anxiety and yuck. Hey? Do you two drunks know each other? Oh, yes. We go way back. <laughs> That's the Lord healing your mind. That's the Lord healing your mind. Just lie down. Feel happening, Darren? Oh, just relax. Yeah, that's God healing your mind. Praise the Lord. She gets insistent, you know, so she can't wait for a catcher. So she just has to have it without one. Praise the Lord. Lord. The whole lot. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Open her eyes, Lord. Thank you. I've really enjoyed myself here in Perth. It's been really fun. Praise God. Are you blessed or what? Yes, I am. Thank you. What did you feel happen? Um, that God sees me. God sees me. <laughs> you know, uh, Sarah... What's your name? It's just Inong. In. What is it? Inonge. 
Sarah, I think um, next time we come to Perth, maybe we should have this this young lady. You young lady? Ino. No. Ino. Ino is my name. I said, are you a young lady? Oh, yes. <laughs> so maybe we should have this young lady sing on the team, all right? I'd next time we come. I'd be honoured. I'd be honoured. Can Thank you give you. your name number to Sarah? I'll do that now. Okay. Praise God. Praise oh, God. Oh, Jesus has got everything for you. He said, come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He's got rest for you. He's got love for you. Peace. I just need some fire. <laughs> Have some. Have some. Hey? All my pain went last night. Really? Yes. What was the problem? Because <laughs> you healed, oh, Jesus healed my um, tailbone. Oh, you had the tailbone problem? Yeah, yeah. How come you didn't stand up and tell us your good news? That miserable fear. Yeah, um, no, all the pain went. So what was the problem? So I fractured my tailbone about ten years ago. And, oh, it's very loud. <laughs> and um, it's constant trouble around that area. And I always have a lot of pain and muscle cream and heat things. And then... Last night I got prayed for and I felt a tingling and then all the pain just lifted and tonight I've been able to sit in a chair, which I normally can't do, it's, and it's no pain. But it, it's a bit delicate and tender, but there's no pain. Ten years of pain gone. Yeah. Yeah, have some more. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. That's Thank the presence you. of God on you. Did you see how she hit the decks? <laughs> On that tailbone? <laughs> There's no pain. <laughs> this is our ambassador. What's your name again? Trina. Trina. Yes. Trina the evangelist, huh? <laughs> yeah. My friend. Very important. My friend. Yeah, it's lovely you to pray for her. But yes, I love Jesus and um, I want... Everyone to be healed, including myself. So I believe that I am healed and um, just for God's glory. So just stand in line so no one falls on top of the other person. That would be great. There we go. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, your grace is sufficient. So we're believing for each one to be healed. In Jesus' name. What's your problem? I've got stage four. And I don't want it anymore. Loose your hold. Loose your hold. In Jesus' name. Loose your hold. By his stripes. We are here. Loose your hold. In Jesus' name. Being controlled. Being controlled. So, um, let's forget about that. Yeah. Okay? So, um, you, it's being independent is very important to you. Okay? And I believe the Lord wants you to do projects of serving people. Okay? So just serving people. Um, and I think in that you will find growth in Him. Okay? What do you need healing for? Um, just, uh, um, I've gone through a lot of hurt and stuff like that. So. Oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> 
Loose your grip. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. There it goes. Come out. It's coming out. It's coming out. Coming out of you. Coming out of you. Out. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Loose your grip. Loose your grip now in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. What's your name? Come on. Terina. 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 You're doing. You're doing really well, Terina. You're going to be okay. All right. Loose your grip in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out now. Quiet and come out in Jesus' mighty name. Here it goes. Here it goes. Praise the Lord. Look at me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Command all arthritis come out of your body now. In Jesus' mighty name. Is the power of God going through you? Power of God going through you? Loose your grip. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Coming out. Coming out. Coming out. Coming out. In Jesus' mighty name. Loose your grip. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. What did you feel happen? Yeah, like, like electric. Electric oh, inside. Electric? Yeah. I believe you're okay, all right? Thank you. What's wrong with your back? Um, L4, L3 and L4 are out, out of whack. I believe Jesus will do it? Yes. When? Now. Uh, yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Is the power of God coming on you? Yep. Power of God coming on you? Yep. Power of God coming on you? Yep. Thank you. It's power of God going through your back, going through your back. Power of God going through your back. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. What's happening to you, sister? Uh, what's happening to you? Uh, uh, I want your family restoration. Bye bye, diabetes. Bye bye, diabetes. Oh, amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. It's Paragod going down your back. Going yep. down your back. You feel that? Yeah. What yep. do you feel happening? It's just getting warmer all the time. It's fire of God going down your back. Thank you, Lord. We just command the back. Be whole. Be whole. Be healed. In Jesus' mighty name. I see them, I see them moving. I see it moving. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I see it moving. Thank you, Lord. Stand up. Let's test it out. Test it out. Test it out. Come on. Couldn't do that, couldn't do that before. Say that, say that again. I couldn't even get down. Couldn't even get down within wow. inches of that. Praise so, the yeah. Lord. Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. Come on, show it. Show us. There you go. Praise the Lord. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. What happened over there? Back healed. Back healed. Thank you, Jesus. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. You're free, sister. It's a paragon on you. It's a paragon on you. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Jesus. What's happening, ladies? <laughs> what do you want from the Lord? Just want him to tell us me with his power. You know this man? Okay, that's the fire of God coming on him. He's being baptized in fire. You want some? Can I encourage you? You know what it is. Forgiveness. Okay, it's time. It's time to change, okay? It's time for a new direction. So she's going to, if you want to forgive now together, she's going to pray for you, okay? 
as you confess and forgive, <laughs> you're going to be free. Okay? I saw you when I was praying before the meeting. I saw you. The Lord showed you to me because he wanted me to tell you that you're very special to him. And I felt his love for you. And he's going to set you free right now because that's what he told me he'd do. Are you ready? Yep. Loose your grip in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. There it goes, there it goes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are loved, greatly loved. That's the love of God coming into your heart. Love of God coming into your heart. Love of God coming into your heart. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. It's his love coming in, coming in, coming in. Wrapping around you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You ready to say goodbye to anxieties? Yes. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Loose your grip. What happened, bro? Felt peace. You're free, bro. Ooh, that's the power of God on you. Ooh, that's the power of God on you. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Thank you, Lord. Hey. Pull it, pull it back. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh. You need direction. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Prophetic word, anything. Hey. Yeah. Mm. Travelling and serving the Lord. Fire, bro. It's all over you, bro. You're burning. You're burning. Burning. Holy Ghost fire. Thank you, Jesus. What's happening, bro? <sighs> what do you feel, Rob? Filled. Sorry? Getting filled. I feel filled. I'm getting like a filled. Filled. Okay, bro. <laughs> Praise the Lord. What happened, bro? <laughs> I just feel I just, I just feel, I feel like... Drunk. I just so, I feel, feel drunk like a, just this um, heat come on. So it's revelation of the word yeah. when you read it now. <laughs> okay? Yep. That's beautiful. Praise the Lord. How are you feeling now, sister? <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> All of you come out. All of you out of it. Prayer that on your heart. Prayer that on your heart. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Have it on your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I command your heart be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Just we've gone through so much as a family. <laughs> Stand up. So that's your son on the phone? Yep. This is for your son, okay? It's the paragod coming on him. Does he have an addiction issue? Yes. It's the paragod delivering him of his addiction issue. Right now, we command the addiction, spirit of addiction, out now in Jesus' name. Paragod, that's the anointing locating him, locating him, locating him, and delivering him. Thank you, Lord. I think it's the Lord touching his heart, softening his hard heart. Thank you, Lord. Just believe, sister. What's up with you? I'll pray for my son to come back to the Lord. Yeah, let's do that. In Jesus' name. Anna. I see him in God's hand. He loves him more than you do. 
had it, insomnia and severe No. No. Not anymore. Thank you. That's the river of God going over you. Speaking to the cancer. Out! In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Is the cancer in a female place? It's the paragard on your female place. Anna, Anna. It's cancer in, in a female place. Just put your hand on her tummy. It's the healing power of Jesus Christ going in. Healing power of Jesus Christ going in. That's his grace. We speak to the cancer in the ovaries. And we can command it now. Out! In Jesus' mighty name. Healing power flowing through you. Thank you, Lord. We command all cancer come out. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. So there's a spiritual battle with your son. There's a spiritual battle. And Jesus has overcome. Jesus has overcome. Just close your eyes, you're praying for your son. That's the power of God coming on the sun. That's the power of God coming on the sun. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Loose your grip. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Here it goes, there it goes. Kill him. It's coming out, it's coming out of you. It's coming out of you. Look at me. Same thing's coming out of you. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. Loose your grip. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out now. <laughs> Out. In Jesus' mighty name. It's the power of God on you. And you're the brother, are you? Loose your grip. Out. Now. Out. <laughs> Look at me, look at me. Thank you, Jesus. Sorry, sister. A little bit of cancer happening. How about none? There you go. Oh, no. <laughs> I believe you're free. What do you feel happened? It's Paragod coming on you. It's the Paragod coming on you. Fire over your body. Okay. What's happening to you? Are you all a family, are you? All right. Where's the Lord? What's happening to you right now? Tonight. It's called Jesus. It's the Holy Spirit. Okay. So this is this is your this is your problem going now. Okay. This is your problem going. <laughs> Wicked thing. I command you loose her now. In Jesus' mighty name. There it goes. There it goes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Abby, 
Look at me, Amy. <laughs> You've been filled with the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hi, Pete. Hi, how are you going? Just um, coming out, coming out, coming out. It's coming out. <coughs> Loose your grip. <coughs> out, all of you. Take all your baggage with you. Now, in Jesus' name, loose your grip. Loose your grip. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Come out in Jesus' name and be healed and be whole. What do you feel happening, bro? God, I feel alive, brother. I feel alive. I feel good. Okay, so that's a financial stuff broken. Lord, now give. Lord, be a giver. Be your giver to maintain your freedom. Is this your wife? Yes, my wife. Okay. So, it's your family? Yes. Okay, may I pray for the kids? Yes, please. May I put my hands on them? Okay. This one's going to be a worshipper. This one's a worshipper. This one's going to be glue in the family. So without prayer, the Lord's um, <laughs> Holy Spirit coming in. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit coming in, coming in, coming in. <laughs> this one's got the love of Christ in it. What do you need from the Lord, bro? Uh, deliverance from suicide and Satanism and witchcraft. Is there anything you want to renounce? A few things. Hmm? A few things. Come on then. Renounce what? Any witchcraft, occult practices? That's the power of God on your tailbone. That's the power of God. That's nice. Let him speak. What does that feel like? Renounce. Let him speak. Witchcraft. Because I haven't got my muscle cream on. Shamanic practices. What else? Suicide. Self harm. Yoga. No. Who are you? Stand up. Joshua. Plonk back down. Who are you? Joshua. Loose your grip. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All occult. Spirit of the occult. Loose your grip. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Loose him. Loose him. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can I have a cloth? Have I got a cloth, lady, please? Loose him. Now, out. Out. All of you. In Jesus' mighty name. Suicide. Come out. Self-harm. Come out. All of you are coming out now. In the name of Jesus. Fire all over your body. Out. Loose your grip. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You, Mum? Come here, Mum. It's going to be free, okay? Praise the Lord. Out! Loose him! 
There they go, there they go. Coming out, coming out, coming out, coming out, coming out. Thank you, Lord. All of you. There it is. There it is. Thank you, Lord. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Joshua. Joshua. Hey, bro. What happened? Got delivered. You got delivered, bro. Stand up. Come on, you're free. You can get up now. You're free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Come and give your mum a hug. How are you? Good, how are you? Have you been in a meeting like this before? Sort of. Okay. What do you want from the Lord? Um, healing from chronic pain in my feet and my heels and deliverance your problem's all one thing okay your problem's all one thing so you can just step forward here is this your family or something no <laughs> friends, church, friends, church, friends. Okay. church friends okay 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 that's the end of that all right what do you need hi um healing there's power god coming on you Paragod coming on you. So I'm seeing rejection. Thank you, Lord. Paragod coming on you. Paragod coming on you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Lose your grip. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It's sometimes they're better on the floor. Okay. So. Loose your grip in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> now. <laughs> Jesus' name. <laughs> Wobble around, boys. So it's up, it's up. <laughs> Loose your grip. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. What's your name? Heidi. Heidi. Wow. You girls been to a meeting like this before? Wow. What do you think of that? Pretty good, huh? Do you want to tell him what you need prayer for? Uh, I've lost sight on my um, right eye. Is it okay if I put my hand on your head? Yeah. It's the right eye? It's the right eye? Yeah. Okay, it's the paragon on it right now. Thank you, Lord. Father, in Jesus' name, command this eye to be healed. Jesus' mighty name. Give her dreams of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you, Lord. Have you been prayed for yet? What's happening? Oh, it's Jesus. It's Jesus. He's filling you with his Holy Spirit. Because he loves you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So if the Holy Spirit's moving in, it's pushing out the rejections and the hurt from the childhood. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. What do you need from the Lord? Um, I need prayer for like fear and anxiety to leave me. Yeah, anxiety. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Okay. Go. Watch the head swivel round. Loose your grip in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Okay. Rachel, look at me, Rachel. Look at me. 
Rachel? Yeah. You're okay, Rachel? <laughs> yeah, I am. You're free? I am. Okay? <laughs> I am. What did you feel happen? Oh, <laughs> I, I don't know how to describe it. Oh, hello. What was your name again? You want to hold the mic? You can hold it. Minnie, that's a pretty name. Minnie. Minnie. I've got a daughter called Juju, who's just about her age. She likes to pray for people. That's all right, you can lie down. That's all right, darling. You just lie down. You just lie down. That's okay. You're okay. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Loose your grip now and come out of it. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Come out. Come out. Come out. Out of it. Now. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Yep, you can hop up now. Come on, up you get. You're okay. Oh, he's always gentle with the kids. Yeah, he's always gentle with the kids. She's okay. Hi, Daryl. How are you? Have you forgiven them? Yes. <laughs> out in Jesus' mighty name. Loose your grip. There it goes. It's coming out. It's coming out. It's coming out. Coming out of you. There it goes. There it goes. You're free. You're free. Thank you, Lord. You got it already, sis. Yeah, you got it already. Praise the Lord. Fire all over your body. More, Lord, give her more. Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Fire all over you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Fire all over you. Jesus. Loose your grip. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out. Stand her up, stand her up, stand her up. Look at me. There it goes, coming out, it's coming out, it's coming out, coming out of you, it's coming out of you. Loose your grip. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out. There it goes, it's coming out, it's coming out, it's coming out, it's coming out, coming out, coming out, coming out, coming out, coming out. Coming out. Loose your grip. Quiet. Be quiet and come out. In Jesus' name. It's coming out, all right? Thank you, Jesus. You're doing really well. What's your name? Michaela, you're doing really well. Doing really well, okay? That's the power. Move the chair. Just get it down. Thank you, Lord. Yep, that's the power of God. You're okay, Michaela. You're doing really well, Michaela. It's the power of God delivering you. Delivering, delivering you. You're okay. Out. Jesus' mighty name. Quiet. Come out. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes? She's free. Michaela. Yeah. Yeah. Good. You're free. Thanks, brother. What did you feel happen? I just felt it just leave. I just felt it just leave. Like my whole body's just on fire. Praise Jesus. Come on, Thank Michaela, you up you get. She's free. Praise, Praise the Lord. You. So, what was your problem? I just, I'm still going. Um, I had a spirit just attacking me all this time. Just for, for months on end, I've been getting ment like mentally health checks every week. Um, I've been having injections. They're saying that I'm crazy and I'm not crazy. Like, guys, Jesus can heal Who just you. delivered you? Jesus. Okay, have some more. Blood pressure. Blood pressure? Yep.
You're being baptized in fire, yeah. okay? <laughs> and it's not coming back either. Okay. <laughs> it's coming out. <laughs> there it goes. Coming out it. It's coming out. Here's a bucket. Cough it out. Out. Cough it out. We have a, cl we have a cloth, please. Cough it out. All out. All your poison. That's your blood pressure problems coming out. Thank you, Jesus. What's happened to you, Courtney? Um, sexual abuse, childhood trauma, um, suicide. Um, found my best friend hanging. Uh, suicide. Found her. And, um, I don't know. Just a lot of trauma. Are you forgiven? Would you like to forgive them now? Come on, Jesus is here. I'm going to tell him you forgive them. Because it'll set you free. You can't carry this round anymore, okay? <laughs> I forgive them. Loose your grip, come out, in Jesus' mighty name, you filthy, wicked demon, I rebuke you in Jesus' name, thank you Lord. Um, uh, no, you can come here. Just put your hand on her tummy. Just healing power of Jesus Christ going through your hand into her re reproductive area. Thank you, Lord. Someone else there. There's someone else right there. Don't look at me. Who grows strangely deep in the right of his glory and grace. Lucia in the mighty name of Jesus. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There goes, there goes, there goes, there goes, there goes, coming out, coming out, coming out, there goes, there goes, there goes, there goes. Loose, loose, loose them. You're free, bro. Thank you, Jesus. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. I feel your faith. Thank you, Jesus. Don't look at me, bro. I can't help you. Just waiting on the power. Thank you, Lord. Bye-bye, headaches. Out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. Loose your grip in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Just, 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 just watch him. Thank you, Lord. Out now. Loose your grip in Jesus' mighty name.
Be still. Be still. Be still. Loose him now. There's a bucket here, bro. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hey. Where are we? Up this road? Yeah. Hi, Stephen. What's happening? Oh, oops. <laughs> oh, you got, you got, you're getting hit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a sore shoulder and a bit of a sore hip and bits and pieces. So. Yeah. Believe Jesus will do this. Sorry. You believe Jesus will do this for you? Yeah. Amen. All right. Amen. All, right. All right. Thank you. How's that? Good. Thank you. All right. Try the shoulder. Good. Thanks. How's that? Great. Yep. What? No, it's no, it's um, it's it's pain free. It feels good. Praise the Lord. Deborah. Okay. Okay. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hey, bro. How are you feeling? Not sure yet. What's your name again? Reese. Reese. Yeah. So you had headaches? Uh, yeah, I've had. No a... more. Hey, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You're free. I'm free. But you need to medicate your mind yep. with the Word of God now. Amen. Okay. Yep. God bless you. This is uh, my church is restarting the healing ministry, the new healing ministry. So I'm part of the. Okay. Receive the impartation. You ready? Yeah. Use them, Lord. Father, use them. In Jesus' name we pray. Power is a person. His name's the Holy Spirit. That's the fire of the Holy Ghost coming upon you, consecrating you, setting you apart for the work which he's which for the work with which he has ordained for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The devil's always attacking marriages. He's going to pray for your marriage, okay? May I put my hand on your wife's head? So you want to have babies? Yeah, we have one on the way. Put your hand on the, on the tummy. Hand on the tummy. That's the power of God going to the baby. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That's the anointing on your baby. Right now, that's the anointing on your baby. Thank you, Jesus. Sharon, where do you need healing? Um, I have a cancer. Sorry? Stage four malignant melanoma. I rebuke the spirit of cancer. I rebuke the spirit of cancer of the skin out of your body. Command it by the name of Jesus Christ. Loose your grip and go. Right now. Out. Now. Jesus mighty name. Loose her. Loose her. Every cell. Detach from her. In Jesus name. Ooh, feel that power God going through it. Thank you. Thank you Jesus. Power God going through it. Thank you Jesus. You will live and not die to declare the works of Jesus Christ. Psalm 117 verse 18. Thank you Jesus. Uh, liver, uh, gallbladder.
Oh, that's the healing power of Jesus going right through you. Thank you, Lord. The power got on your back. Thank you, Lord. Oh, oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Organ restoration. Thank you, Jesus. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, coming into you from heaven. Thank you, Lord. It's the power of God coming down from heaven, straight into your organ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> oh, yes, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Suicidal, depression, all stemming from lifelong sexual brokenness. Are you ready? Yes. You want to be free? Yes, Lord. Now? Yes, right now, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Loose your grip on him. Loose your grip. Thank you, Lord. Were you exposed when you were a child? Yeah, 10. Huh? 10 years old. To power of God going back, the Holy Spirit going back, going back, going back, going back. <laughs> then loosing you, loosing you from that first time. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Power of God going through your mind. Thank you, Lord. Power of God going through your mind cleansing you of all unrighteousness. Thank you for your blood, Jesus. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This rejection coming out of it. Thank you, Lord coming out of her. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. There it is. There it is. She's free. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Have you got, have you got children? Three. Yeah. One, there's one I need to pray for. Which one? Does one of your children need prayer right now. Uh, Jeffrey. Sorry? Jeffrey. Jeffrey. He needs prayer. Because I'm seeing one. The Holy Spirit says pray for one of the children. Oh, Jeffrey, yes? What's his problem? Uh, let them, um, getting closer, getting to, closer God. to God. Because last time he is close to God, but I'm now a bit... He's walking away. Yes. Okay, stand up. Okay. Lord, we pray for Jeffrey right yes. now. Thank you, Lord, that he is in the palm of your hand. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Um... The Lord's teaching him, okay? He's okay. Amen. Okay, he's learning. Thank you, Jesus. It's like this far and no further, okay? He's okay. Thank you, Lord. In this prayer now, Amen. thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Petrina, God loves you. I know he does. <laughs> so we got, what do we got? That's fine. Yeah. Okay. You want to say bye bye to asthma? Yes. Bye bye asthma. Bye bye asthma. Say it. Bye bye asthma. I renounce you. I renounce you asthma. I renounce you asthma. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, come out. Come out. Loose the lungs. Out. Out. In Jesus' mighty name. There he goes. Trina, what happened? <laughs> Stand up, Katrina. Let's move the chair. Okay, you're being delivered. All of you, look at me, Petrina. All of you, come out. <laughs> Lucy! coming out of you. Thank you, Jesus. Lucy, now, now, by the name of Jesus, 
I'm commanding you to come out of her now. Come out in Jesus' name. So cough it out, cough it out. It's asthma coming out of your lungs. There's a bucket here, Petrina. Bucket here if you need it. Just slide her a bit. All right, praise the Lord. What happened? Um, I felt like I was like birthing and having a baby. Wow. Like I was birthing out the sickness. Right. So that's how it felt like I was actually having a baby and it was like birthing out everything that was all the sickness that just came out of me. Wow. Praise the Lord. So have a big deep breath for me. So I've been set free in Jesus' name and hallelujah and all, all glory to our Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah. Thank Praise the Lord. Jesus. We rejoice with you. Yes. Sorry, what? Yesterday he showed me that my hands and my mouth are stained black from hurting people and I need it fixed. Lacey, stand up, Lacey. Did you, get, did you get prayed for yesterday? Yes. Yeah, okay. He, you... he showed me when I was on the floor and I could see myself and my hands were being cut my hands off. Sorry, what? <laughs> my hands were cut off. No, they're not. <laughs> That's a lie. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Look at me. <laughs> Out in Jesus' name. Loose your grip. Loose her hands. Loose her hands and come out of her now. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Anna, you want to come and keep praying? She's being delivered. Just press on a bit, okay? It's coming out of it. It's coming out of it. It's coming out of it. Filthy, wicked thing. Come out in Jesus' name. Let's give her some space, please, people. Hey, bro, what's up? My dad's addicted to drugs and alcohol and he's struggling to get over it and he just keeps going down the, this horrible path and we just can't we just can't loosen the grip of the, the demon that's holding on to him. God loves you. You're very brave and courageous for coming forward. Okay? Yeah. You want to be free? Uh, I want dad to be free, yeah. Seen, someone said that they've seen a demon holding on to his throat, uh, a demon of uh, addiction. Relax, bro. Jesus is here and you're going to be free right now. Okay? okay. Are you ready? Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Loose him. Power of God changing your appetites. Thank you, Lord. Loose them. There goes, there goes, there goes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I feel tingling in my hands. You're free, bro. I'm like hearing voices and getting tormented and stuff. Okay. You know Jesus? Yeah. You want him to set you free? Yeah. When? Now. Okay. Are you ready? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, loose your grip. Loose your grip. Loose your grip. Coming out, coming out, coming out, coming out. How you going, Petrina? How's your breathing? Come on, breathe, breathe, breathe. Hey, bro. You're good. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. Where's the Lord? What did you feel happen, bro? Yeah, I'm set free. Amen. Come on. Thank you, bro.